Hello everyone, I am Miss Best to be a Blessing. I'm here to do a reading for my fire signs. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment, you guys. And with that being said, we're going to get right into this reading for today. All right. So first and foremost, the first card that you have on the board is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles represents um, you working extremely hard and paying close attention to your finances. We also have coming in the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands represents there's some type of competition here, you guys. You have some competition. People could have been coming up against you regardless of these, but I see that it was a firm fight, whatever it was. Somebody sending their emotions with the Five of Cups. That means you've been feeling some type of way. Some of you have been feeling kind of down. You know, you've been going through something. I just think your emotions trying to figure some things out. I feel like right about now, your creativity is very, very high with the Eight of Wands coming in for you guys. You also have the Eight of Wands. There's plenty of people running their mouth and talking about you in regard to some things. Um... Communication coming in, pen and phone calls, maybe letters, texts, or something like that. I do see some traveling coming in for you guys. Oh, you guys, forgive my background. I got a lot of boxes that came in, but it is what it is. I always get boxes and just some of my supplies. Anyway, with that being said, back to your reading, you guys. Um, okay, communication is here. Some of you have been dealing with some heartache and pain is what I've seen. Lots of heartache and pain with the three of swords. Somebody could have felt like they've been stabbed in the back. Hmm, the star card is coming up behind the heartache and pain. So it's saying that you need to deal with the situation. It's time for some healing in regard to a partnership because you have the two of cups there coming up behind the healing. So there will be healing to a partnership here that could have caused you, you know, some pain. That could have been weighing on your mind. Could have had you feeling like you were broken in half or something like that. It's not you. Remember, Carol, it's about you or someone who's close to you. We have the death card coming up for you guys. The death card represents the Scorpio card. The Scorpio card is ending on all endings always come new beginnings. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here, okay? Once again, I'm going to go back over your cards again. Fire signs, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is paying close attention to your finances, and you're paying very close attention to the detail. You don't miss out on anything. You do have some competition, but you know competition can be good. It's the way that you look at it. Lots of people who could be coming up against you, but that just makes you should want to work even harder. You have been in your emotions in regard to some things that have taken place, but I feel like your energy is coming back. I feel like your creativity is high. Lots of communication taking place. Whether it be people talking about you, whatever, don't give a fuck about that because the people don't do nothing until you know that when you do things for your own, and that's what you need to do. You know where people will always run their mouth and talk, but if they ain't putting their hands on you, now that's a different story. We have heartache and pain here, disappointment, but we also have healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius individual. I do see some wish fulfillment coming in. And it's in regard to a partnership. Partnership could be this is somebody hand in hand that you've been working with or somebody who you could be um, in a lover's relationship with as well. Somebody been feeling like they've been torn apart in regard to how someone has been treating them. Now the death card, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. There could be an ending. But also with all endings come new beginnings. But that's not the end of your reading. You have more cards here, you guys. So let me get them for you, okay? The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to be reading these. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. The Nine of Pentacles represents a lot of blessings that's going to be in store for you guys, okay? Um, the way to get your blessings is that you're going to have to manifest these blessings to come into your life. Y'all excuse my nails because y'all know what... When we get our nails done, sometimes you got to let your nails here. And that's what happened. I just took some nails off so my nails came. But anyway, I'm back to the thing. I don't want y'all seeing my nails. But like, oh, what's going on? That's what the fuck going on. I'm telling you. Took those nails off my hands. Okay. Anyway, you need to manifest some things to come into your life, you guys. I do see here somebody's been sitting like they've been tied up and bound within the situation. Their hand is tied like they can't get out of the situation. But you can. 
I said that it's time for you to move on in regard to a situation. Time for you to hit some things on. Whether it be for the negative, get the negativity out so that you can get you your blessings, your goodness is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of confusion here surrounding you guys. You need to make a head of a heart decision. Some of you need to take those blinders off so you can see things more clearly and hit those things head on like I said. I feel like you, um, you need to be standing on strong ground here. Be focused on what it is that you need to do manifest the things that need to come in you do have an earth sign of virgo taurus capricorn that's coming in for you guys okay virgo taurus capricorn individual that's headed your way get ready for that i feel like you are focusing on your finances you could have um virgo taurus capricorn in your chart you're focused see how he's focusing on his finances that's what i see for you guys you're focusing on your finances trying to get something to work out but beware there is some type of lies, deception, and deceit. Somebody could try to stab, some, stab you in the back or steal something from you. You know, so be careful. Your surroundings, be careful who you're allowed to come into your midst and things of that sort. Okay, you guys? All right. And my nails. Oh, my nails, my nails. But anyway, you guys, uh, yeah, you have the Four of Cups. Uh, the Four of Cups represents... Um, you're in deep thought in regard to something. You have three full cups on the other side, but you only think focusing on this one thing. So I'm saying possibly uh, individual is what I'm seeing. I do see here lots of thoughts on your mind with the Ten of Swords. You've been thinking a lot. You're trying to figure some things out. You want to work some things out as well. I think you're coming up with some answers. I think you're going to be moving around. Some of you have been holding on to your finances a little bit too tight. You're going to have to... Um, don't do that. That energy needs to circulate, okay? All right. We have the, hello. We got a fire sign that's coming in. You could be dealing with another fire sign here. So it's time for you to stand in your strength in regard to whatever's going on around you. You know, you're always up for a challenge, fire sign. They're telling me here that you're going to get the victory in regard to whatever it is that you do. All you got to do is take that first step, you guys, and keep things moving, all right? I do see here, hello, a water sign, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces here that's going to be coming towards you as well. Get ready for that, okay? All right, and your last and final card, you guys, is the beautiful sun card. The sun card says there's going to be some happiness in store for you guys. Get ready for it. Get ready for your victory. And with that being said, y'all have a truly blessed day. I'm supposed to be a blessing. If you like your own personal tarot card reading, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. And until next time, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, y'all have a truly blessed day. Thank you.